Today, I'm giving you a quick tip on a simple way to quickly note your drawings with information that is already on your model. I have here a building model, and of course, I have a lot of catalog item data on the various elements. I'll select one of the clear story windows, for instance, and look at the properties. There is a lot of data and information on that element. If I scroll down to the identification properties, which appear on most elements, you will see that I have added a type ID and a description or note to this item. Wouldn't it be nice if I could easily add that information to a drawing note? Let's go take a look at one of the drawings. I am going to select the Place Note tool. Note on the text editor that there is an icon for text favorites. This is a feature that allows you to store snippets of text that you place over and over again. For instance, I have created a couple here for annotating structural members. Just a typical note that says, see structural drawings. Saves me a little time when placing the same note over and over again. That's great. But what if I could use a text field within the text favorite so that it filled in based on data that is on the element selected for the note? Well, we can. Let's set that up. Ideally, text favorites should be set up in a DGN Lib so that they are available in all files. So I'm going to open my text and dim style DGN Lib. That seems like a good place to store text favorites. Now, a quick tip. In order to set up the text field for a data group property, you will need to have an element with those properties in the DGN line. So I'm just going to reference my model here. Text favorites are set up in the text editor, so I will start by selecting the Place Text tool. On the Text Favorites pull-down, there is a Manage option, which opens another dialog to set up and manage the text favorites. But before I go there, I need to get the text field for the data group properties I want in my text favorite. So in the text editor, I select Insert Text Field. I'll set the field type to Element Properties. Then select an element in the file that would have the data group properties you want to include. Now, I prefer to use an element where those properties are actually blank, like my roof here, so that the default text field displays as hatch marks. The field editor will open. Here you select the property you want to insert in the text. I'm going to start with ID type ID. I can also control the display by setting the case to uppercase. The text field is inserted. I can add additional static text. I'm just adding a hyphen and some spaces, but it could also be a snippet of a note. Now I will insert a second text field. This time I'm inserting the ID note field, again displayed as uppercase. Now I will select the text that I have created in the text editor. I can then right click and select Save Text Favorite. This saves the selected text as a text favorite. In order to rename my favorite, I will select Manage from the Text Favorite pull-down. Note the two text favorites I showed earlier that are stored here in this DGN Lib. If I select my new text favorite, I can see the text fields displayed on the right. I can rename the new text favorite Make sure that you have selected the text style you want to use for this particular text favorite. Then select Save. That's it. Now we could detach the model from our DGN Live, but I will leave it for now since I may set up a few more text favorites. Let's browse back to our drawing model. I 
I'll select the Place Note tool and select my new text favorite. Now, when I place my note, I do need to make sure I'm selecting the actual object that I am annotating. Also, turn on Association in the Place Note dialog. Then, place my note. Note it automatically fills in the data that is in the model. If I select a different element, like the door, the note changes. And if I select the glass canopy, again, a different note. And don't forget that holding the control key when placing the note lets you add additional arrows. Now one final little tip. If you don't want to see the gray background on the text fields, it can be turned off. Go to your user preferences. select text, and toggle on Hide Field Background. Hope that helps with annotating your drawings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.